Hi guys, this is Yonmin Max, aka Max. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So for today, right, uh, I'm actually gonna be talking about quite a few things, right? Um, I think the question on everybody's mind is, will we be getting a warm-up series, right? And we actually also have rumors flying around that um, EA is actually secretly injuring our players. That's why they feel really, really bad in-game. Right, um, I'm also going to be talking about some of the trading filters that you guys really loved in the previous trading video. I think it's been working really well, so I found a few more. We're also going to be talking about, we actually already have some um, leaked Icon SBCs. right? And of course, we're going to also be talking about what to invest in. So the first thing I want to talk about is actually the fantasy foot items that were already upgraded. As you can see here, we have uh, Yota, right? he's up to a 92. We have um, Upa Makano upgraded as well to a 90. We have Emre Chan to a 88. And then we also have um, Ruben Diaz who goes up to a 92. We also have um, other players like Benteke, Vema, and Toprak as well. That are also getting, that have also already been upgraded just today. Another thing I want to talk about is actually the uh, objectives that we'll be getting. So um, we have a few players here, right? We have uh, Foot Birthday, El Shawari, Centurions, Elba, Fantasy, Slabuzi, you know, Future Stars, Wheelock, right? So all these will be under objectives. So I think this is really similar to the current draft objective we've had, we have, whereby you can get Ledley King, Rabbitch, and some other players. So my guess is this would come in drafts this Friday because the draft challenge actually expires in two days. So it's actually quite perfect timing. We actually also have the um, team of the season card design leaked. So I think that this is pretty similar to what we have in previous years. You know, I would say that only the crystal is something that is a little bit different compared to the previous seasons that we have. So this is actually the voting calendar if you guys aren't already aware. So we voted for the community team of the season right, last week. Right now, we are in the Premier League voting season. And then we'll have the Bundesliga, La Liga, and lastly, the Italian League. So if you can see, right, um, most of the time, right, the voting actually lasts for about three days for each specific league. So do remember to get your votes in. So like I mentioned, we already have some leaked um, icons, right? So um, the first one I'll talk about is this um, Team of the Year icon, Nesta. So... It says here that it might come as either a SBC or an objective, right? Uh, you know, my personal guess is it's probably going to be a SBC. We will also see Team of the Year icon Ashley Cole as an SBC. I think he's a very, very solid left back defensively. And, you know, we have to see how much EA actually prices him at. So talking about icon SBCs, right? We actually gotten um, Luis Figo yesterday. Uh, and you know, you guys know it, right? Uh, I'm going to be doing a review on him. So do check out my review on him. So his price is actually about 500k to complete based on the current market prices. He has um, 5 star skill moves with 4 star weak foot along with the high low work rates. So the pace split is very, very good by 91. I don't really like, like the composure being at 83. He has the outside the foot shot trait as well. Right, um, I think the rest of the stats look really good. So the next thing I want to talk about is the filters. Right, you guys have been loving the filters in the previous trading video. So um, the filters actually work really well from the previous trading video. I'm gonna show the profits later on. So let's actually move to the filter itself. So you want to go under Go Rare, Bundesliga, and then you go to um. Bayern Munich. So if you actually take a look right now, we want to check how much are the gold rares from Bayern Munich selling for, right? So I believe they sell for about 1.3k, right? So if you list them up for about 1.3k, they're going to sell quite quickly. Let's check 1.4. The 1.4 is fine as well. So what I will do is I'll set this filter to about 850, right? So you guys can actually bid on these gold rare cards from Bayern Munich for about 850 coins uh, max. You can sell them off for about 1.4k I would say. Right? So that's some pretty nice profit there. 
So the next filter I want to talk about is still the same go rare. And then we actually want to go to the arrow divisie. Go under IX. So let's check how much they are selling for. So they are alright, they're not really selling at 1.2. What about 1.1? Okay, so they would sell right 1.1. You're gonna sell at 1.1k. So what you wanna do again is you can actually bid on them for I would say about 800 coins max and list them up for 1.1k. Right. So this is your second filter. Let's go on to the third filter. So filter number three, right? I actually wanna move on to this. Um, click on and then you go PSG. So let's check how much these gold rares are selling for. So they're selling for about 1.4k. Let's see whether we can sell them at 1.5. No, so 1.4k. So you probably right wouldn't want to bid more than um 900 coins on them, right? So just go 900, buy at 900, sell at 1.4k. So um, I gave you guys three filters, so you guys can interchangeably use all the three filters, right? When um one is not working that well, you guys can actually swap to the other filter. Right, so I want to next talk about this day of the month for League On that we actually have that is confirmed. So Openda has been officially declared the day of the month for League On, right? Um, he's actually pretty good in game. Hopefully he gets an upgrade to his weak foot or his skill moves. We actually also will be seeing this 81 by 11 League specific upgrade. If you guys don't understand what this means, it simply means that we're gonna get one for Premier League, Italian League, La Liga, Bundesliga, so on and so forth. So, um, this brings the question, right? Will there be a warm up series? Personally, I think we'll get the warm up series before the community thoughts, right? Um, EA has been doing the warm up series for a very, very long time now, and I would be very surprised if they actually chose to break from this norm. So the next question is, will we get best of in packs during this warm-up series promo? Um, I think it's a very, very hard thing to guess. But if I had to guess, I would say yes. So I think we also have this very popular theory that is flying around right now that EA actually injures our players. So you can actually see this on your console or on your PC. Right, but however, when you use the web app or the Bowser, right, it actually shows. So in this case, as you can see, right, Mbappe is stated to have a upper body injury, but actually you can't apply any healing cards on him because he's not shown as injured on your console or PC. So people are saying that this is the reason, right, why their players can't dribble, can't pass, can't shoot, can't make runs. So personally, I think it's a visual glitch and the real reason why your players can't pass, dribble, make runs, etc. Right? It's just simply because the servers are muddled. I've said so many times, when the servers are muddled and the connection is very bad, right? Your players play like bronze cards, right? That's the easiest way to put it. So the next question to talk about is what to invest in next, right? What to invest in next. So I think 86ers are the way to go for me. Right, they are at um, 14k max price for console players. Don't go more than 14k. You can get them on bid probably at about 13.5k. So for PC players, right, uh, you don't want to go more than 15k. Again, you can get them on bid at about 14.5k for PC players. So for console players, right, you can actually sell the 86ers at 16k. For PC players, list them up for 17k. So for both console and PC players, you guys should list up your 86ers 45 minutes before the content drop. If you don't know what time is content drop, um, content drop is actually 5 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. So list up your 86ers at 4.15 Greenwich Mean Time, right? Just convert it to your timing. So what about the other ratings, right? So I would say, you know, if you want to, you can actually pick up um I think 87s are quite a decent shout as well. You know, uh, for console players, 19k max, right? I'll probably bid on them at 18.5k. You should be able to win them easily. 
For PC players, I wouldn't recommend buying because their price is already very high on PC. Same thing, for console players, list them up 45 minutes before content drop at 21k. So, I personally wouldn't really bother with other ratings. So, I know right, I told you guys to go in, um, all in on 84s, right? So what should you do with 84s? So they're currently at about 3.7k or so. If you guys follow my advice, right, you guys should have bought them at about 3.2k max, right? I say they probably will go up to about 4.1 or 4.2k later when the 84 by 7 SBC actually refreshes. So this is the thing right now, right guys, you have two options. Option number one are for people who need the money or you want to open up packs, right? Uh, list them up for 4.2k, 45 minutes before content drop, right? Option two, if you don't need the money, don't need to open packs, you can list them up for 5k, 45 minutes before content drop. If we don't get any other new Gamba SBCs, those are very good selling prices. But if we get another Gamba SBC that requires 84s, those who listed them up at 4.2k would have sold at too low a price. I can see them going up to 5k easily, especially if 84s specifically are required in the new Gamba SBCs. So the question is, do I think we'll, we will see a Gamba SBC? If I had to guess personally, I would say yes. If we don't see it today, we're going to see it tomorrow. So what would I be doing with my 84s? I'll be listing up my 84s for 5k. Right, 45 minutes before content drop. So, you know, I've weighed everything for you. You make your own choices, right? So, you know, these are actually the profits from my um, Discord members, right? All my trading methods and filters are working. So, um, they bought these gold commons for between 400 to 500 coins max and they're selling them for about 750 coins. This is actually the um, filter from the previous trading video right um they bought these cards for maximum 200 coins i've had people make 30k in half an hour just with this one method right just one method so this is another filter that i actually gave up gave out so what happened was um they bought alvarez's for about 2k changed his position sold them at 4k so you know easy match right double doubling your coins so if you guys want daily trading tips, right, join the Discord while it's still currently free. Right, I give I give lots of tips there, and you if you guys have any trading questions, you can ask me there. So I want to show you guys, right, um, the virtue of having patience. So if you guys have been following me consistently, you would have known that um, we actually bought these um, eighty sixes informs right about two weeks ago. We bought them for about 14k or less than 14k so you know i've been lazy listing them for between 17 to 18k and they have all been selling and then yesterday i actually sold off most of my 86 informs at 18k that's why i say right guys sometimes right exercise a bit of a patience you know you know if you sometimes right when you actually plant something right like for example, you plant fruits, right? You need your fruits to be ripe before you can collect your harvest, right? If, if the fruit is not ripe, you would have basically just wasted your effort in actually planting the fruit itself, right? So have patience, guys.